kitchen, studio, and wall beds, etc. Proud to offer Edmonton the best quality and service. Working hard to make sure all products are sourced locally. Now you see it, now you don't. Visit wallbeds-etc.com today. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Nielsen and Fraser Post Show Show brought to you by our friends, besties, Wallbeds, etc. Now you see it. Now you don't. Wallbeds-etc.com. This right here is the Tournament of Cage. We're going to break it down in just one moment. But it was conducted by the captain of the Edmonton Rush, 14-0, no big deal. That's, it's, actually, it's a really big deal. Oh, it is a big deal. Yeah, it's huge. Is it, a, is it a bloody big deal? Yeah. Like Jermaine Defoe or what's his name? The soccer guy? That's not an air reference. It's not? No, that's not a pop card. No one knows what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I, I thought it was a popular thing. Hilly. In Tr Toronto, it's... No, it's not. Shut up. Uh, so anyway, before we get into the Tournament of K, just a quick shot. We found this online. They were comparing Chris Corbeil, regular guest with us, the captain of the Rush, to Orlando Bloom. Take a look. It's an attractive man. Both and of them. And I'm not talking about Orlando Blue. I did not know that Chris Corbeil was in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at that chin. Uh, it's very nice. It's a defined chin. Yeah. That's a chin that bold. the ladies probably love. It's a bold chin? Did you say bold? Aaron Bold, generous picture. off the fire alarms in here. Yep, yep. My nipples are hard. Just like his were, am I right? <laughs> 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 All right, so let's throw the Tournament of Cage on the screen. Whoa, whoa. See how we did that? That's so cool. So now you can see it. Uh, first of all, two things that I didn't like about Corbeil in the Tournament of Cage. One, top left side of the bracket, face off, losing to Gone in 60 seconds. I like Gone in 60 seconds, face off's a classic. And then Con Air losing to The Rock in the final. Come on, put the money back in the box here on this ordeal. You're killing me. What about you, Fraser? What say you? I say this. I say the face-off getting beat by Gone in 60 seconds legitimizes the Con Air losing to The Rock. In that, this man is his own man. He's not going to be pressured by anyone but his own convictions. This certainly wasn't a European soccer match that was fixed from the beginning. <laughs> right. This was one man making the call. This was not a figure skating competition in Russia. No. Am I right? <laughs> France, it's pretty bold of you to say that. Bold. Bold shot. Woo! Oh! Woo! Oh my god. Woo! Oh my god. No wonder nobody wants to score on him. They don't want to shoot the ball at that thing. I wouldn't mind scoring. <laughs> oh, let's get to an email. Hey guys, I'm a huge Nick Cage fan. I thought his best movie was Gladiator. Signed, Terry. That was critically acclaimed, man. <laughs> Clearly it didn't have Nick Cage in it. That was clearly Russell Crowe. Don't email this show and say you know Nick Cage. Okay? Does he have a hair lip? Is, is his name Joaquin Phoenix? I don't think so. Good actor, though. Yeah, really good, good actor, though. All right, that's going to do it for another edition of the Nielsen and Fraser Post Show Show. Thanks for watching.